So people always ask me, what is it like to live the life of an executive chef? Well, not a lot of people, but some people ask me. Um, so I thought it'd be fun anyway to put a little video together to show you a typical day. Well, actually, it's not even a typical day. We have a pretty big event at Palo Estates today. But just a day uh, starting with a 6 a.m. wake-up call, a bowl of instant oatmeal, and heading to the gym. Support technology, temperature control, and gel memory foam? Yeah. You know, sleep country. Okay, it's 7.30, here I am, I'm halfway through my workout. Yes, believe it or not, I do go to the gym. Uh, I've actually only been going for about six weeks now, just starting to get back into it. I already feel a difference, feel way better, but you know, it's, it's tough, it's really tough. Uh, but I try to do an hour every day, lots of cardio, and uh, so I gotta wrap things up here and uh, get over to the farm and check out the vegetables before I go to work. So I'll see you soon. So every Tuesday I do a walk around with Scott, our farmer, and here we are at the Pella Estates farm. Um, it's not always the most pretty, but you know what? It's because it's a working farm. It's not a pretty farm, all right? But what we do is we walk around every Tuesday. We take a look at the ingredients, see if the carrots are the right size, see if, you know, uh, the peppers are tasting good, the tomatoes are good, but really just checking in, making sure that we're good for the week, and then I'll go back, put that list together, and then the team will order for the rest of the week. So uh, this is our gem. This is the Pella farm. Yeah, these are beauty. Yeah, they're nice, eh? They look so nice. I know. The cabbages are awesome. I like tomatoes, too. I know. These guys are awesome. So we got lots of tomatoes. These are the orange ones. The peppers are amazing right now. Okay. Oh, you got the orange one. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we're good. Wow. Mm. And they're extremely sweet. Like... Yeah, look at the yellow cauliflower. That's awesome. Color on it. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. So great. So, is this the beets here, right? Yeah, these are the beets. These, but there's other beets too as well. These guys are there. That's beautiful. Carrots here? Yeah, there's some carrots in there. Um, the older one, but some like the small one. Oh, there like that. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's some nice ones. Yeah, there's a purple. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. They cook up so nice, too. Colors, but the ends didn't go good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. And the pumpkins. I know. I'm not ready to start carving pumpkins, no, I can tell you that. I'm not either. Okay, quick little chat. So today's a crazy day. We have Glenn Fiddick coming here. Um, they're doing a whole day of seminars, wine tastings. We've come up with some pretty crazy events. Um, this is gonna be the first one that we're doing. It's actually going to be smoking cheese at the table. Um, you can see a nice big wheel of blue cheese there. Um, we'll have one type of cheese from the monastery as it is, and one type that's been infused in ice wine for six weeks and then smoked. Uh, of course, right behind me, very cool. Uh, we're going to do some tank samples of ice wine as well. So it's going to be a pretty cool seminar. That you have, like I said, the one on my left or your right is the blue cheese right from the monastery. The one on the other side of the table or your left is the one that's a blue ice. It's been, yeah, so you got, so right is plain and left is, is blue ice. Um, the blue ice has been saturated for uh, six weeks, seven weeks, and then we just lightly smoked it. It just gives a little hint of smoke. What I'd love you to do is actually, I mean, and you can do it with the ice wine, you know, to try the ice wine, but try a little bit of the plain cheese first, enjoy that, go to the wine, and then try the actual uh, blue ice and smoke. You'll see the difference on the front. Wow. It it's a little bit early, but we're taking fresh Riesling. We're going to press that, and we're going to compare that to Riesling ice wine. So you're going to see the complexity, now that hasn't got any alcohol, but you're going to see the level of concentration and maybe some of those complex flavours, or not, against the actual real product. So, kind of a bit of fun, bit of interaction, 
good to see frozen grapes and actually the process is actually really the same. We use these wooden presses but much bigger ones and they're all hydraulic, they're not manual but it's the same wooden basket that we use, just a little mini one. And we use these for testing and for getting samples on when to pick as well. Right, just give it a little bit more chill. Yeah. So that's dry ice that's underneath there. When you add water to it, it helps to kind of uh, you know activate it. And there we go. All right, we ready? Let's see what happens. Let's do it, mate. Let's listen to it. Frozen solid. Now, don't anyone touch this. <laughs> but you're welcome to come up here and feel the frozen grapes. <laughs> Now they're more frozen at this end actually, but you can feel the, the solid All right, so now it's quarter to seven. Uh, we've had a crazy day. Uh, the lunch events went really, really well. Uh, we've been outside in the uh, vineyards making ice wine. We've been uh, showing people how to make their own sparkling wine. Uh, we've smoked some blue cheese. Uh, and now we're getting ready for the big gala dinner. As you can see behind me, we've got a beautiful table. 29 people now, and it's a sensory dinner. I'm gonna try and uh, do some videos of the uh, menu as we're going along, but uh, sorry if you missed some of it because uh, sometimes it gets a little hairy. But So this is what my kitchen looks like at 10 o'clock at night and the damn dishwasher's broken down. <laughs> Everybody's standing around waiting for the dishwasher to get fixed. And there comes the executive sous chef with the story of the dishwasher is now fixed. So it's fixed for now. Yep. Uh, water hasn't dropped. He ran it eight times. He changed the valve in the bottom and the He's coming back on Thursday. But it's going to hold us till then? So we can wash dishes? <laughs> You're going home? <laughs> Helen, are you going home? Okay, so here we are. It's 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I've just got home, had a quick shower, and wrapping up my day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little journey.